Unit Twelve: Window Shopping on Window Warriors, June twenty-first. With the challenge underway, the designers get a first look at their dresses. The first step is to come up with a concept and start sketching ideas. Gerardo's gold dress instantly inspires him to build a New Year's Eve window. While the floral print Edward's working with reminds him of Mother's Day, ideas aren't flowing as naturally as they could for Spencer. However, who dislikes the red dress he's been assigned? Spencer's settled on an idea by the time the judges visit the workroom on day two of the challenge, though the judges agree that it might not be Macy's appropriate. His window concept, a farewell party at a psychiatric ward. Is already being constructed and painted, but the window's bright pink walls, as well as the mannequin dressed in a straitjacket, seem out of place. He carries on despite the judge's opinion, confident that his design will amaze Roya. Another designer that disregards the judge's guidance is Brittany, who settled on an Art Deco cocktail party theme. The judges are concerned that her design isn't impactful enough. But Brittany's sure her props will stand out without any additional changes. On the challenge's third day, Shani has trouble making her props pop. She's chosen to hang some flying crows in her window, but they're nearly invisible against the black wall behind them. What's worse, when she applies silver glitter to them, they end up looking cheap. A few windows over. Erin seems to have gone overboard with her whimsical St. Patrick's Day tea party themed window. Timothy's first date window, on the other hand, is prop free, and he's worried his simple design won't be enough. Check out Window Warriors on TLC this June to find out whose window will wow the judges and whose will go dark.